So, but it runs. So that was step one. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm getting some movement in this clutch action, but I don't think I'm getting enough. Let me move that, that lever back and forth, and then I'll come back and check the camera. Because I don't have arms that are that long. And my camera person is uh, helping a lady uh, go to the hospital for her chemo. So anyway, I will uh, just going to have a look at this, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to adjust this because this seems this cable is loose, right? There you go. And I think it should start out tight there and then go, right? It's only moving a quarter of an inch, and I think it it should move a little bit more than that, maybe another another half of an inch. So when I get that done, we will return to said project. Oh, I'm just going to take this off. Move the cable down and tighten it back up again. Looks like it's never been touched. Okay, so that's at rest. It's, it's still not tight, but it, there's no there's no droop in that. And I moved that about a half an inch. Huh? Maybe that might be too much. But usually with a cable like that, you can take the slack out of it. Now, and when I checked before, I had just I had just this eight millimeter socket space in there. I don't know how much that's going to change, really. But let's get the clamp on there. Clamp! It's much tighter. I should have measured before how much distance we had there. Well, I guess it'll be back to where it was, right? So let's just measure that. Sometimes I use metric and sometimes I don't. To the center of the cable ball, to the origin of the cable, uh, cable conduit is one inch even. And now it is one and three quarters. So it's moving three quarters of an inch. And before I knew it was only moving a quarter of an inch. So I get an extra half inch of movement there. So now, that should be locked, right? Now it, when it's engaged, I should be able to turn the motor from that assembly. And yes, the spark plug is disconnected. Yes, there we go. Isn't that a beautiful thing? How many of you guys have been waiting for me to crash a lawnmower online, eh? <laughs> There, that's better. So now, brake fluid cleaner, and I'm just gonna, you don't have to watch this, but I'm just gonna clean this face. Not, not this one, but this one. And the face of this clutch, and we'll see if we got, see if we got lift out. And if that's the case, we'll put it back together. Non-chlorinated brake cleaner. So a good friend of mine, um, I found out he just passed, and he used to talk like that. You know, like one of those guys, stand back, I, it's, everything's okay, I'm here. But he wasn't like that at all in real life, he was a very gentle man. There were about four of us that were on the crew, but the four of us were kind of our own little crew within the crew. And anybody who's ever been been in that situation knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'll get a wire brush on that. And we'll go over here. Back to said more. Hi, Joe. I don't think we have to take the rest of this apart. But I'm going to wire brush that. I thought this might have been rusted right on there, but by the looks of this, eh? I think I can do it with the uh, 
uh, with the impact. Okay, back over here. Get over here! Alright, sore elbows and all, I'm going to give this a go. That goes on there. These dogs have to go into those holes. And at the same time, we have to get this center bolt started. And I can kind of see. We're at the tread start now. Hmm. Is that 15? Yes. And a little more oomph power. Correction. We done. Okay, so we can't turn it now. We'll squish the bar handle. And now we should be able to turn it with the motor. Okay, let's I'm just going to give her a little bit of a zing with the uh, pneumatic. Ta-da! Okay. Now the upside down blade. How bad does it look? It actually looks sharp enough for, for uh, this operation. So that goes on there like that. I believe. Sorry, Bob. And that goes on there like that. There's an old joke of a friend of mine. Would you like a coffee? Nay, hey, Bob. You guys still watching? You sure? That's not a bad angle. I'm going to have to try that again. You're sitting in the drawer of my toolbox. Better. ratchet. I'm just going to test these to see what kind of power they're at. Well, that's just any tighter would be too tight. All right. Now we're going to turn him back on his on his head. Well, let's lower him a little bit. We'll make it an even steve in operation here.
it's shutting off too early, but everything else is working good. Can you believe it? Now I just want to check. You guys are still watching this gong show, are you? And are you? Go. Take this carburetor cover off of here and have another look. Choke, off choke, and about there it's turning off. I think I know what to do. I think I'm going to move this forward a little bit. GIS screwdriver. So this is the rage lately, and I'm part of it. Not rage, <laughs> but GIS screwdrivers. If you look, and I'm this is from Zippo. I didn't figure any of this out. If you look at that screw right um, there. You see it has a dot on it? There? And that means it's a Japanese industrial standard. It's like a Phillips, but it's not a Phillips. I know, eh? Isn't that crazy? So this lawnmower is shutting off a little too early. So what I want to do is take the on-off cable and shove it forward just a tiny bit. Let's try that. Do I still have choke? Yes, I do, I think. Not as much. And let's go all the way to choke. Make sure it's on full. Right about there. Okay. So our choke should start. Now remember that on this one the blade's not turning. that again. Hi guys. Things are worn on this old mower. So I'm going to adjust the governor. I just can't seem to get it to run less than about 2,000 RPMs and it should come down to idle because we have a throttle adjustment on the arm of the... It's not a, it's not a governed machine. But it still has a governor and I think somebody's been diddling with it too. I think just about anything that had a bolt. So the way I've adjusted all the other Hondas in the last couple months, and there's been more than usual, you should go to full throttle, so that's idle. Uh, idle is there, and full throttle is there. You take this pin, I don't know if you can see any more closer than that or not. Yes, you can. Okay, so can you see this pin right? I can't see what you can see. Yes, you can see this pin that sticks up from this arm. I'm going to turn it all the way to the right, and then I'm going to tighten up, and then I'm going to tighten up. Hopefully everything stays in the same position. Good. I'm going to tighten this up. That might help us. We'll see. Let's start her up. I want to be able to control the idle or the RPMs from the RPM control lever here. Right? And it's only going, it, it shuts right down. Okay, this, this little tiny switch right here is the shut off lever. And as soon as it reaches uh, about there, it shuts off. We seem to have a little more motion now. So let's just try it. There's been a lot.
lot wrong with this little Honda, but I want to save it because it's a Honda. Air! I promised my doctor I would open the door more. And all of my subscribers, too. There you go! That's good. Trying to survive. That's way better. God. So this is the year of the. Now I can adjust stuff, right? Um, this has been the year of the uh, the crazy adjustments. Now I can turn up the idle a little bit. Let me fiddle around now and I'll come back and I'll explain what I've done. So you guys are going to get a laugh out of this. I just went to, 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 to inspect the plug and it looks okay. And then I, I just touched this and it fell off the end of the high tension cable. And then I took the cover off. I thought I'd better just check to see how it looks under the hood. And there's all kinds of tape and goo and schmoo. And so he's been in here too. And that's a nice original coil. I, I, it runs good, so hopefully I can save that. I've got all of the um, all of the idles and everything running really good. And what I ended up doing was I just fed it quite a bit more cable on here. You can see the gap there. And that's probably how much the cable stretched over the years. Exactly the same as the one that operates the blade. It's kind of. This one I had to put more into it. We may end up loosening that a little bit. So, yeah, it's just been one like thing like that after another. So if you look right in here, I don't know if you can or not, there's a screw in there that screws into the high tension cable. I think we can we can just repair that. And I think you put tape on there on the high tension at the other end or on the coil side for no reason. Maybe you got a shock. So I re-screwed this onto here, right there, and I, I'm taking the tape off this other end. I don't think there's any reason for it, it just gets hot and melts. And this little guy is the switch that turns it on and off. Okay, that's really interesting. You can get a good look at it now. So this is the switch that you put a ground on this lead and it comes down and it's this little floating switch here, right? That actually turns the mower on and off. Puts the ground onto the coil and then you don't get a spark out to the spark plug. Cool, eh? Okay. All right, so before I put the air cleaner on, it had the minor surge just at startup. We'll see what we got for idle and for maximum throttle now. Everything's covered up, the covers are on, blade works. Yeah. 
them with no load. with a load. Sorry about that. It's good. I'm happy. All right. I just uh, looked up the RPMs for, uh, for this and the uh, Hondas run good at about 3100 RPM. It's a really, really difficult uh, number to find because they don't, I don't think they want you mucking with it. But you got to set it sometimes. So, Steve's Small Engine Saloon has a good one on RPMs for Hondas and uh, I got this one. I was originally running at 3400 and I got it down to 3120 or something like that. So I'll just, uh, just do a little start up here. Looks good, doesn't it? Compared to when it came in. Yay. It was a good day for me. I didn't make... Okay, the neighbor said, can you fix it? So what do you do? <laughs> I don't know! Alright, next day test. Go! <laughs> so that was a challenge. Uh, I think uh, the owner doesn't need it anymore and I think she's going to give it to me. She just said, have a look at it and I just assumed I should go and fix it because her uh, brother uh, kind of messed it up. So every screw that was touched was diddled. It's wrong. Thanks, but we got her. Bye.